Okay, Docker for Mac. The far superior solution than the old boot to Docker. If you don't know what boot to Docker is, look at you. So, for clarity, right? Docker for Mac is an official product from Docker Inc. Its entire raison d'etre is to give you, as a Mac user, the smoothest possible local Docker experience. And by local, I mean have Docker running locally on your Mac. And for all of the behind the scenes mystery and magic, just to get out of the way and let you crack on with Docker. Now, speaking of behind the scenes magic, because I do think this stuff is often worth having at least a conceptual grasp of. Behind the scenes, it's going to run a VM. Inside of that VM, it's going to run Linux. Then, it's going to expose the Docker engine on that Linux VM back to your Mac. Now, for the curious among us, in order to do that, it's leveraging something called HyperKit to implement a super lightweight hypervisor. And HyperKit is based off of XHive, if you know that, just with more than a few enhancements. Now, it also leverages some stuff from DataKit, runs a highly tuned Linux distro called Moby, based off of Alpine Linux, so super small and all about security, speed, and stateless boots. And if it's your thing, it includes support for bin format MISC, in case you want to do ARM or PowerPC stuff, which I don't, so I can't really give you any guidance on that. In fact, I've just heard about it, and I'm dropping in buzzwords to make me sound clever. Uh, watch that backfire. Now, a quick installation prereq. To be sure this is going to work, you need to be running a modern Mac, or pretty modern, right? So anything from 2010 or later should work. What you need, right, is the hardware assists for the memory management unit. As well as that, though, you're going to want to be running OS 10 10.10.3 Yosemite. That is a lot of 10s right there. Anyway, let's get it installed. So in my browser here, I'm heading to the Docker website. I'm going to go get Docker. And you know what? I'm sure you could just as easily type Docker for Mac into Google. Never mind. I'm going to hit the Learn More under Mac here. And I want to download for Mac. Now, obviously, I've got a space time compressing internet connection, so that's already downloaded. So let me go start it from here. It's this one. Okay, right. Let's drag Moby over here to the Applications folder. Then let's go start it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Next. Okay. Password 1. Just kidding. And there we go. Now, this animated whale icon up here, this is telling us that it's starting up. So we'll give it a second or two to warm up there. And that looks good. And for now, right, if we hit Preferences, we get a minimal UI. Expect this to change in the future, but really, for what we're doing here, it's immaterial. What we actually want is a terminal window. And if this has gone to plan, heck yeah, we're up and running. And notice, right, how the client here is showing as Darwin, because the client bits are running natively on the Mac OS Darwin kernel, and I hope nobody minds me calling it Mac OS instead of OS X. I know there are trolls out there. Yes, I'm looking at you. No, just kidding. Knock yourself out. But the server bit down here, this is running inside of that Moby Linux VM that we mentioned a second ago. But that bit is critical to understand. Although this seamlessly works on your Mac, it's obviously Docker on Linux under the hood. So it's only going to work with Linux-based Docker containers, which right now, that's where most of the action is anyway. So that's good. Anyway, yeah, that's Docker installed on your Mac. All the regular Docker commands are just going to work. Docker info, Docker images, yep, the whole shkaboodle. Next up, Docker on Windows Server.